Okay guys, today we're going to talk about identifying opposites and absolute values of rational numbers. Our two essential questions that we're going to answer by the end of this video is one, how do you identify the opposite of a rational number? And two, how do you identify the absolute value of a rational number? Okay, so there's a couple things you need to keep in mind when we're talking about first of all opposites okay and that the opposite of any negative rational number is going to be a positive rational number so if I said negative 3 the opposite of negative 3 is positive 3 and if I said the and if I well then I'm telling you that the opposite of a positive rational number is a negative rational number so if I said 5 the opposite of 5 will be negative 5 okay and then I also want to make sure that you guys understand that the absolute value the only thing you have to remember about absolute value is that it's the distance from zero on the number line and it's always going to be a non-negative or positive value because distance does not indicate a direction from zero okay it's just just distance okay so when you use a number line to find absolute value you just count off how many places it is from from that number to zero so that's all you have to do so we're going to go from there and look at a couple of examples so our first example we are working with a example from the book and if I'm not mistaken it's on page 56 in the book um, you can verify that for me maybe correct me in the comments but um, there's a statement that says until June 24th 1997 the New York Stock Exchange price Priced the value of a share of stocks in eighths, such as twenty-seven dollars, twenty-seven and an eighth dollars, or at forty-one and three quarters dollars. Okay, and three quarters is a multiple of one eighth. The change in value of a share of stock from day to day was also represented in eighths as a positive or negative number. Okay, and then we have a little table here that shows the change in value of a stock over two days. What they want you to do now is graph the change in the stock value for Wednesday and its opposite. So here's Wednesday, and we want to graph this number and its opposite on the number line. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, step one, says graph the change in the stock value for Wednesday on the number line. All right, so Wednesday's change was negative four and a quarter. So here's zero. All right, so we want to graph this at negative four and a quarter. So it's going to be somewhere between negative four and negative five. And there's no indicators here, so I, I don't know exactly where it's going to go, but I can guess. I can give a pretty good guess. I know a quarter is somewhere between the whole number four, or negative four, and four and a half. So it's probably going to be somewhere in this area. Okay, not quite to a half but definitely more than four okay so this value here is negative four and a quarter alright and then step two it says graph the opposite of negative four and a quarter alright well I just told you that the opposite of a negative number is going to be a positive number okay and it even says here the opposite of four and a quarter is the same distance from zero but on the other side of zero so if we're like one, two, three, four, and this little smidge here, then we got to go one, two, three, four, and then another little smidge. And of course, smidge is not a very mathematical term, but since we don't have an indicator that says one quarter, we got to give it a smidge. Okay, it's more than four, but it's less than five, and it's definitely less than four and a half. So this value here is going to be the opposite of this value so it is positive four and one quarter okay and it tells you right here the opposite of negative four and a quarter is positive four and a quarter our next example has to deal with um, identifying the absolute value of a rational number and <clears throat> I mentioned it before that the that when you're talking about absolute value you're talking about distance from zero on the number line okay so this example um, I think it moves up to page 58 I'm not a positive uh, in your textbook it says the table shows the average low temperatures in January for one location during a five-year span 
find the absolute value of the average January low temperature in 2009. Okay, so here it indicates the years, and in the in the chart, it's or in the statement, it says 2009. So we want to graph the absolute value of this number. Okay. So it says here, graph the 2009 average January low temperature. So here we're at negative 5.4. Okay, so negative 5.4 is it's more than 4, or I guess, or more than 5 rather, more than 5, but it's, it's between 5 and 6, negative 5 and negative 6. And it's, it's below negative 5.5. So we're going to, and actually when you're talking about temperatures, that would be warmer. So it's going to be between negative 5 and negative 6, but just a little bit below a half again. We're dealing with just below a half. So we find a place that's um, in between negative 5 and negative 5 and a half, and that's where we mark it. Okay? So step 2 says to find the absolute value of negative 5.4. So negative 5.4 is 5.4 units from 0 on the number line. So you have your absolute value bars, and you have the absolute value of negative 5.4 is positive 5.4, just like we talked about.